Hi everyone, so I am back with another video. This is an unboxing video of some beauty boxes. Um, I have my February glossy box here, but I am so far behind in videos, I never had a chance to film it. And I do have a couple of birch boxes here as well. I think this is the February one and this is the March one. Um, but obviously rather than not do a video and not show you what I received in my February glossy box I thought I would just do this kind of all-in-one video to show you what I received in each of these boxes rather than just not do one at all Um I did used to be subscribed to Birchbox a long long time ago probably a couple of years ago now but I unsubscribed because I just hated it and I hated the tiny little sample sizes that you got and everything um, and I vowed never to subscribe to them again but there was a really really good offer on Groupon so I totally took advantage of that offer um, but again I'm not really a huge fan of Birchbox if I'm completely honest some things in the boxes are really nice but I just I feel like with glossy box quite often of the time you actually get a lot of full size products and I do really like that whereas with Birchbox I feel like the majority of the products are just little sample sizes that you get probably a few uses out of and that's it again it is complete personal preference I know people who absolutely love Birchbox and that is great for them but for me Obviously having the two and comparing the two, I definitely see Glossy Box is my preferred favourite out of the two. But anyway, enough rambling. I'm going to dive straight in and I'm going to start off with the February Glossy Box. Um, obviously it was a Valentine's edition one, so it does come in a special edition box. It's got gorgeous, um, like pink shaded um heart balloons and it's got lovers in the air wrote on the box itself is bright pink and again it's got the glossy box logo on so let's just dive straight in bright pink tissue paper inside with a white ribbon and this is the contents of this box so the first thing that we have here is these brow titian limited edition love skull tweezers now i was super happy when i got these i actually love the fact they come in their own case i think it's just super snazzy it makes them look a lot more expensive than what they are and obviously if you're carrying these around in your makeup bag or something you have the extra added security that your tweezers are not going to get damaged the ends are not going to get blunt or anything because they are packaged in their own case and again great for travel so i absolutely love those those are obviously full size and they retail for £7.99 and are available from Superdrug. I'm presuming they probably come in a lot of different designs, but I actually quite like this design as well. So that was the first product. Next product is by the brand MUA. And again, this is like a super dirt cheap brand again from Superdrug. This retails at £3.50, which is like pittance. Um, but nonetheless, it's still a full size item. It is their Power Pout Glaze Low Voltage Gloss. Basically, I'm not going to open it because I don't think I'm going to keep this. I think I'm just going to put it in with swaps. Um, this is like a twist up pen and it has a little brush applicated at the end and it's just basically a brush on lip gloss. Mine is in the shade Rapture and it's kind of like a brownie nudie colour but again I'm not going to open it because I know that I'm not going to use that and I have tons of lip products on the go already. Um, next up we have a waterproof eyeliner from the brand Nikka K. This is a 24 hour waterproof eyeliner and mine is in the shade dark brown. Now I do like this, I really like the packaging on this, I don't know why but I just think it looks super snazzy. It's like a goldy, bronzy, coppery colour on here and then this lid is kind of like a metallic purple. Um, but I really like this little bit on the end, it's like a little brush applicator on the end, like a hardish sponge so I'm presuming that you can smooth out the eyeliner. And it is also retractable, so I'm super happy about that. Now, this is in the shade Dark Brown. Looking at this, this could possibly be used for my eyebrows. And if it can, I'm going to be super happy because um, I have completely used up my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. So I'm on the hunt for something else desperately because I don't have time to go to a store and buy anything. So I'm going to give this a whirl on my eyebrows and see how that goes. But again, that is a really, really nice product. Um, This is full size again, and this is... $3.99 so again it's not a massive price point but still nice Um, next up we have from the brand Neobe now I've seen this featured in glossy boxes lots of times before and it is quite a good brand I do actually enjoy it this is the protective hair mask volume conditioner and um, this is it's a luxury size and um, but this is like a huge size and um, this is actually 200 mils in size so this is massive and um, this is basically like a conditioning hair mask um, and the full size retails for £10.64. I can always use conditioners and hair masks. I always use them when I'm in the bath and obviously my hair is coloured. So quite often I do like to use a restorative hair mask. So that would be really, really nice for me to try out. 
product and then the next product in well the last product in my glossy box is this Wilkinson Sword Hydro Silk Razor and if I'm not mistaken I have actually received one of these in a glossy box before I did use it but I don't think I liked it because I don't know how well you can see in the box but these kind of have um like little moisturizing serum bits in here and I feel like when these are on here the blades don't get as close to your leg as what it should to give such a clean fresh shave um but again I'm gonna use it so it's not gonna go to waste again it is full size and this retails for 9 dollars so you can see the value of your box is well over what you pay for it um so obviously I'm going to use the majority of the things. I'm definitely going to use the razor. Who doesn't need a razor? Um, I'm going to use the hair mask conditioner. Definitely, definitely use the tweezers. I'm definitely going to try this for my eyebrows. The only thing from this box that I'm not going to use is this. But again, I'm just going to pop it to one side and pop it into my swap basket for when I do swaps and things. So all in all, that was quite a good box for February for me. I did enjoy it. So let's move that to one side. That was the glossy box. Now moving on to Birch Box. This one that I have here, I'm sure this was the February box. So let's dive into this. And I do like Birch Box, how it comes in these little drawstring bags. I kind of use these for like tea lights and little votive candles and things. I always find things to put in here. So the first thing is this Egyptian Magic All Purpose Skin Cream. And you can see that like, this is a tiny, tiny sample. It's three mil and on the back it actually says not for resale. I don't know how well the camera is picking up that it says not for resale on the back so I don't know but I'm presuming this is just going to be something like um Elizabeth Arden eight hour cream or something like that now the one thing that we did get in this month's box which I'm really excited about is a spectrum brush and I just absolutely love the baby pink handles on them and these bristles where they go from baby blue to purple are just absolutely amazing I love them and I've heard tons of things about spectrum cosmetics now I don't know why but I thought these were more expensive than what they were because when I'm looking on the card here um this only retails for $7.99 so that is quite reasonable but the brush itself is so so soft and again this could probably be used for kind of like an under eye setting brush or a contouring brush and um, so I'm excited about that and um, next up we have what is this this is by the brand Cores and this is milk protein 3-in-1 cleansing emulsion for all skin types it is only a 16 mil size it's a cleanser um, I'll probably get a few uses out of it um, but this is what I mean with glossy box I just feel like the sizes that you get in the boxes are just nothing compared to what you get in glossy box but nonetheless I've obviously signed up for it for a couple of months next thing is aromatherapy associates body gel refreshing and invig invigorate and this is a 40 mil size which is obviously a bit better of a size it says massage into your skin each day focus on areas of concern like hips thighs and stomach um, I've tried a few things from Aromatherapy Associates before and I have liked them. Next up is Herbalosophy Balance Shampoo with Safara Oil and Camellia Oil. 40ml uh, size, again shampoos never go wrong, always 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 use shampoos. And the last product in this box is a lock pencil in the shade Perfect Sense. It's just like an eyeshadow pencil and it's a gorgeous goldy colour. That is what it looks like. I do really, really like the colour and it is super soft and buttery. So moving on quite quickly before my um, battery runs out. This is the March Glossy Box. Um, so diving in and I'll show you what we have received in this month's box. We have a Polar Night Revitalising Cream. So this is like a night cream. What size is this? 25ml. Again, a little size. Not massive, but we get a few uses out of it. Um, then we also have Beauty Protector Beauty Wash. This is a body cleanser. Again, super small size. It is not big at all. Doesn't actually have a size on there. Um, just a body wash. Then we have something by the brand Philip B. And I think I've had Philip B in a glossy box before. This is Drop Dead Straightening Balm. And I'm presuming you just pop this into damp hair and then style your hair as usual. And it helps keep your hair straight. Which will be good for me because I do have frizzy hair. Um, Model Coat More Brows. Again, I've had this in a glossy box. This is in the shade Light Medium. I'm not going to open it. This is like the Benefit... Um, Gimme Brow, um, it's like has a mascara spoolie on the bottom and you just brush it through your eyebrows to make them fuller and thicker. So I'm not going to open it, it is going to go in my swap box because I do already have one. 
Then I have something by the brand Arrow Boost. This is a colour enhancing lip balm. I have like literally tons of lip balms. That is what it looks like. But the thing with this one, um, it doesn't really have a smell. It doesn't have a smell at all. But this is supposed to kind of work with your body and your skin's natural pH. So when you put this on, it will kind of give your lips a colour that matches the pH of your skin, if that makes any sense. Um, I do quite like the packaging on that, it is really nice. And then the last thing, again, is just a little sachet thing. This is N4 Lumia De Hiva Reconstructing Mask. Again, it's just a hair mask. Probably get one use out of it of that. Um, but yeah, that is the contents of that birch box. Again, I have to say I'm not a huge fan of Beige Box. I literally only done it because there was an offer on Groupon. But for me, if I had to choose out of Glossy Box and Beige Box, I would definitely go with Glossy Box all the time. I feel like you get more full-size products and more products that are kind of relevant to me. I feel like in Glossy Box, I get more makeup and things, which is what I like. Whereas kind of Beige Box, I just feel like it's always like a, a body wash or a night cream or something like that. Um, but who knows? I think I'm due to get a couple more Beige Boxes. Once I get those, I could possibly change my mind and I could absolutely love it. But up till now, I would definitely, definitely choose Glossy Box. So yeah, everybody, that was the contents of my last three um, beauty boxes. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you all for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.